people will not need to have a car. Moving from owning a car to subscribing a car, it's well underway today. It's going to get magnified dramatically over the next 10 years. It's scale that matters. You have enough nodes in your bike share system, your car share system. A seamless experience. Instant transportation. You know, single payment method. Disruptive applications. And it is enabling a whole new future in mobility. That are changing the way people view how to get around. The owning a car does not make economic sense and driving your own car isn't worth the trouble because subscribing is so much easier and it gives you so many more options so that you get something better than ownership, which is access. Now you have a societal shift in transportation that accelerates very quickly. And you make a 10% mode shift in a city, I mean, that could be a billion dollar plus benefit to the economy. The economic benefits are going to be in places we barely imagine. Just kind of driving along, thinking, you know, how, how I want to approach, BAM! But the car simultaneously just started tail spinning. Crossed over the line and hit me head on. I was bouncing off the center divider. Totally unprepared for it. I don't know what you could do to protect yourself when you're going at that speed. 40,000 people that die here every year. If you put that into the context of maybe having a, a train crash, that would be almost like having a train crash every other day. We're talking about a vaccine to the equivalent of a cancer. And whether it's shared or autonomous or both or connected or any of these variations, this is a completely preventable epidemic. There's been, as far as I know, about three million miles driven by autonomous cars on our road, and they don't have any accidents. A lot of the technologies that we can get today would allow you to save more lives. So there are all these really incredible um, new ways of thinking about things and doing things that are supported by information technology. I don't know of another technology that is going to so fundamentally change people's lives. You didn't really understand what a smartphone would be to your life 10 years ago. You're going to see new modes spring up that are somewhere of a cross between the bike and the car, where instead of having one vehicle here, one there, you're going to have 20, 30, 40, 50. Uh, so you have some real depth. Innovation gets ahead of policy, and I think it's going to take some time for policy and the insurance industry to really catch up. These technologies exist, but they're not being mandated today. And I think governments need to step up and ask for more of these technologies in every new vehicle going forward, because we could save so many lives. If our 21st century urban mobility system looks like anything remotely from the 20th century, we will have failed. We see that there is a need for a complete new mobility, complete new sustainable mobility concepts. Policy makers, engineers, and of course the end user as well. These are all really important stakeholders. Shared use mobility is part of the future and we need to work together to integrate it. The transportation system needs to be rebooted. Thank you.